Oh, gosh, when she does that with her cards, it makes me think she's just gonna fold. Oh. She's been playing very solid, you know, relatively tight. And, you know, she might believe that he should know that, right? So then, if she's if he's assigned a three bet my open on a $100 straddle, he must have a hand, right? right? So. All in. All in. Perfect. I'm tired of getting bullied. Oh, my gosh. And Hayden's just going to make the snap call here. Yeah, of course. And Dave 30, five, with eight, the five 30, deuce of hearts. 30, but we also see that I believe, believe it was uh, uh, another uh, hand uh, also had the deuce five of clubs. So he's going to be looking to find some hearts here. Deuces and fives are going to be in short supply. Jack three, three. Seven oh, God. Oh. Although they are short supply, there is Gosh. still <laughs> a couple left in the deck. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. All right, humble winner, humble winner, boys. I'm back in the game. Poker face Ash with Jack-9 on the button. Can I just call? Do you believe the $50 double straddle is in we always sitting there close to each other. Wow. I will be curious to hear from Ash when she does do her vlog over the stream if the size of uh, <laughs> the buy-in and the blinds <laughs> caused her to adjust like hands that maybe she would have opened in the past. She does flats versus smaller buy-in or how it's affecting her because if this is... Um, a larger game for her than normal, <laughs> which I can't imagine that it's not. It's just a huge game in general. How that is affecting her play and her mindset, and those are sure, I'm sure, all things that she'll be dissecting. But look at this. She just flops the nuts. Flops the nuts straight and sure does. has, you know, a player calling with a gut shot, a player calling with an open ender. Let's draw here for Josh. Please check that green. I'm not sure that it's right. Carlos here now turning top pair with his open ender. Oh my gosh, what a spot here for Ash. Sitting here with the nuts, and you got two players leading into you and a call in between. 900. And I think both players are just going to come along. I mean, you know, flush draw and a gut shot, and golly, 3100 in the middle here. What will the river card bring? Mm. Needs to fade a diamond. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> there it is. Ouch. She can't love that when two players call her raise there on the turn, and then the diamond just hits. And then when Josh just leads here, it's going to be, I think, poker face Ash likely to just get away. Depending on the sizing, it goes 2.2k. Yeah, it has no diamond blockers in hand, so uh, makes it much more likely that his, her opponent could have a flush here. This has been a wild lineup, too, for Ash, with a lot of uh, speculative hands, speculative raises, and bets. So. You know, she has to know that these players are capable of making big bluffs as well, like with the King of Diamonds. Um, so it's tougher than what it might first appear when you, we can see the cards, right? Very yeah, I mean, capable players. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, be the best combo, um, the best hand would be like what King Nine with the King of Diamonds. Yeah. Uh, for him to be bluffing with. And it looks like she's going to get away from it here. And she nice makes a great fold. Ash, very nice hold. Worst hold. River ever. And uh, where can you look at the structure sheet? Uh, yeah, you can look at it. Um, it should be on t the TCH website, so texascardhouse.com, or if you have the Poker Atlas app, that is also on there as well. Um, as the structures for all our tournaments are on Poker Atlas, so if you all haven't downloaded that app, I highly recommend you all do so. Uh, you know, gets you, you know, first dibs in line uh, on all our cash games. And then you can see uh, what all our future tournaments have and, you know, the uh, structures and whatnot. Yeah, and Kimmy says she's predicting a million. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it too. I, I'm going to think it's going to be at least a million. 
Uh, last time we had a 500k, uh, we had over 1.2 million in the prize pool. And last time we had a million guaranteed, we had like 1.6. Oh my gosh, what is going on? eBay Dave here sitting with the Stone Cold Nuts. And you got Hop Down Josh just raising to 4,500. I'm all in. Oh. Ah! I <laughs> Oh my god. What? He said he folds. Throw those motherfuckers in the mouth. He's saying that now. He's saying that. I'm not saying that. He was saying all that. I'm sorry. I thought it was. No, he just folded. He folded. He folded, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what are we doing? She's explaining it to the head. She's explaining it to the box. Da 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 Wow, EBA Dave with the stone cold nuts. I had two pair. Welcome to TCH Live. We got 510 and a quarter action with special guest player Poker Face Ash. Alongside special guest commentator Casey, aka Poker Mom. Uh, my name is Derek. I'm a you know regular commentator here at TCH Dallas, and I also deal here as well. Been a blast so far. We've had a lot of big pots, and uh, looking forward towards the end of the stream is, you know, as you get to the towards the end of the stream, you have yeah. the players that are stuck that are trying to get unstuck, and then um, you know the players that are you know winning trying to extend that lead. So it's always a fun dynamic. Six eight nine flop. We've got eBay Dave with an open-ended straight draw and the top and top pair. Habib's got middle pair, AC and clubs. And yep, he's going to just go heads up now to a turn. Three of clubs. There's a brick on this board. Oh, and the straight yep, comes through the for Dave. <laughs> yeah. 5.7k in this pot already. I'm all in. Jams it. Going for max value. Maybe trying to get value from a two pair holding or a set. Uh, but, you know, the seven is the most obvious open ender on the flop there. Oh, no, this is definitely not a call. Uh, like, like they, they play pretty lax in that sense. Like, right, they're not gonna, he's just counting it out here. Yeah, yeah they're not going to... Hold him to like forward motion no, or anything, no. or crossing an imaginary line. I, I, oh, oh no! Ooh. Oh no! What? <laughs> Dave no. does it again. What? Oh my God. How does he get called there? Good. Winning a twenty-one. That's where that Point image, that, that Dave image is just... Wow, and deep up the whole night. Him. He was up the whole night, now down like to the foul. Busted diamond. Yeah, like ace. I mean, but you don't even beat a 10 or a 9. Or okay, finally. Oh, there it is. Poker face Ash with the pocket kings. She raises it up to 175. Big Dave's going to make the call. Pretty quiet night for you. OFC's got the king queen off. Can't imagine he's going to be going anywhere. Not one. Do you want some blacks? Uh, sure. How many you And Habib's going to come along as well. So we're going to go four way to this flop. Khabib, the only one with an overcard to the Kings. He's got the A7 off. Four, eight, six. So eBay Dave flops open ended. This is like his 10th open ender of the night. And oh he's tended to hit him. He just decides to lead. 600. Oh, and Habib has a gut shot as well. What does Poker Face Ash do here with the over pair? Pretty wet. I mean, relatively wet board. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to believe your opponents will have the nine seven right or the flop seven five. She might put in a raise here. 
Definitely could have two pairs, though. I mean, it's an e eBay Dave's range. Um, to ha I mean, he can obviously he can have any two cards. Uh, she does just make the call. And that can't be her favorite card. No, it's not going to be her favorite card, but she is still best. Dave does check. And Habib checks behind. Now Ash has a decision to make here. Is Dave trying to get sneaky now when he hits trip eights? Or does she think she's still best? And, you know, this eight makes it less likely they have an eight type of holding. She is counting out chips. I think she's going to go for the raise now. She's not going to let them take another free card to draw, draw to whatever draw they have. So she bets, and Dave quickly moves all in. This is huge for Ash to... Huge decision here. This is all her chips. We've seen Dave play any two cards. He can obviously have sets. He can have trip eights. He can have two pairs. He can have the straight, although um, not at a super high frequency. But we know that this is just like she decides to make this call. It's just like a, a buckle up and let's go against Dave, you know? Right. Yeah. <coughs> really tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think with how much she has back, I don't think she can hold. Um, yeah, She already committed exactly. about 1,300 on the turn. Right. Uh, I, I just, for me personally, I don't expect eBay Dave to, if he did have an eight, to bet out flop and then check turn. Uh, especially when that club draw comes out in turn. Like, yeah, I really expect him to just continue barreling a lot of his eights. Uh, so I really wouldn't put the eight in his range. Um, since the second eight did come out on the turn. But uh, eBay Dave does play very tricky, so. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I, oh, oh, gosh, when she does elder cards, it makes me think she was going to fold. Um, and she has committed a lot of her stack to this hand. So I'm really hoping this could be her spot to really, now, his thinking is, like, even if he gets called here, he's got the fold equity. And then even if he does get called here, he's got he's got outs on this river as well. So she hasn't faded it if she makes the call. She does make the call. Nice call, Ash. She's 83% to win. Can she dodge it? He's asked once or twice. I don't care. Once, she says. And <laughs> she dodges it. Huge pot, a 10K pot for Poker Face Ash. It was just like we talked about, that one spot, that one hand. Yeah, and that's the one hand for Poker Face Ash, yeah, 10K and they, pot. They didn't make it easy on her. You know, she really, <laughs> she, ha she played that really well. 